What's going on guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another video. Today I will be doing another subtle cosmetic mod 2D Boxster. At the bottom of the grill we have two grey um, plasticky grills underneath the fog lights. I'm going to be one, uh, wrapping those gloss black so they blend in a lot more and then two, I'll be installing some gloss black mesh behind the grills just so that they protect the front radiators. I think that will make them look a lot bigger as well. And uh, at some point I'll also tint those front fog lights because I'm really not a fan of those. But if you're thinking of doing this, um, you don't have to go to the extremes I'm going to. Uh, for example, you don't have to remove the front bumper. Uh, the only reason I'm removing the front bumper is because I would like to try and fix the mesh uh, somehow uh, hiddenly uh, behind the grills. If not, I'll have to just use tiny cable ties, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, whilst the wheels are off as well, I need to fix some rubbing with the brake disc on the driver's side. First step, let's jack it up, get the two front wheels off, and then attempt to remove the front bumper. Now that did actually take a little longer than expected. Around 50 minutes wrestling with hidden bolts on the front bumper. But now that the bumper is off and sat over here, we have better, better access to the, uh, the front grills because you can't actually remove them with the front bumper on. So I think my next task is to try and uh, pry them out somehow and get them wrapped and then I will cut the mesh to size and then hopefully be able to secure it around here so it's not visible from the uh, from the outside. That's the plan anyway. Now I don't want to jinx myself because the hard part is going to be putting it all back together but this has got to be probably the easiest car I've worked on. Uh, these grills, literally when you've got the bumper off you just get a little flathead screwdriver on these clips and they just fall out so it is incredibly easy. Next step wash these dirty 15 year old grills, get them wrapped.
both front grills wrapped then and it was actually a bit more fiddly than I anticipated but both are back in the bumper so that means it's time to cut template cut and uh, try and install the mesh let me show you my wrap efforts before we do that as you can see gloss black now rather than the old grey which I think is a lot better they are um, they're not by any means perfect but you know when they're on the car lower down and they're for a DIY attempt they look very very good the mesh is over here as you can see I've gone for gloss black uh, race mesh apparently uh, if you're after the, um, where I bought this from it was from Amazon it cost me 18 pounds and there uh, comes in this kind of big sheet which is plenty for those little grills so let's get templating and then we'll figure out how to secure the mesh to the bumper and then it can go back on that Stay then guys and the front end did take a lot longer than I expected. It did get dark on me rather quickly and the whole process from removing the bumper, wrapping the grills, installing the mesh and then reinstalling the bumper which I had to do in the dark took around seven hours but the car is now complete and it is looking a hell of a lot better. If we walk around the car now as you can see the front end just looks so much more murdered out and clean. Having the whole front end now in black and with those mesh inserts as well, protecting the radiators behind, I think that just looks so, so much better. And the front end just looks so much more meaner in my opinion. Uh, only thing I'm uh, kind of deciding to do now is to whether or not to do those side grills grey because uh, they now don't match anything. And if they were great, the whole car would be very, very stealth. But yeah, there they are and they look incredible in my opinion uh wow <laughs> i love when you do things and they just pay off and look really really good um if you're planning this yourself uh we uh, mounted this to the back um but this you probably can't see it but where the radiators go there are two kind of uh ducting kind of plastic trim things that uh slide into a frame around the grill so when installing the mesh um, just make sure you go to the inside of the uh, the grill and um, not the other one, otherwise you can't get the bumper on. But there we have it. It's looking brilliant. All I need to do now is tint those fog lights and maybe take the side light bulb out because they are really, really dim. Well, that's it from me then, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short little DIY video on how to wrap and install mesh inserts to the front of your Porsche Boxer S. Doing this, I saved around £100 as you can buy some uh, aftermarket mesh grills which just simply clip in ideally um, with those ones you don't have to spend several hours uh, removing the front bumper and all things like that. However, money well saved I think. The front end looks really good. If you're going to attempt this DIY mod then do send me some of your progress pictures on my Instagram but anyway that is it from me guys. If you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss out on any of my upcoming content with this car. Thanks for watching. <laughs>